The transom knot is a variation of the constrictor, so we're just going to make a loop and then twist this loop downwards and connect two more loops together. See, here's the other two. Now, if we're going to join two things together, one piece is going to go in between those loops, and then our other piece is going to connect them together. And now we're just going to pull this tight. We just have to make sure that when we do so, the top part of the rope is pressing down on the overhand knot that we created. Now this used to be used for making kites back in the old days, but today we just use it to tie flashlights to handlebars or even flags to bicycles. For the barrel knot, what we're going to do is point our left finger and we're just going to wrap the free end downwards. And then we're going to take this end and stick it through that hole from this side. Just like that. And what we're going to use with this is anything we want to ensnare in this knot, we're going to just feed it through that hole as we're making it. So here I'm going to use this piece of pipe as the example. I'm going to wrap it downwards like that. Go again. And then this free end, I'm simply going to tuck underneath all these turns that I made. There we go. Now you can wrap it as many times as you want. This one I did three turns for the back. And this is what you would use to hold glasses onto your head, or it's even the same knot they use for an adjustable necklace knot. The square bow starts off with the square knot, left over right, right over left, and then our free ends we take and we're going to tuck them down into the hole that we made. And then we're just going to pull it tight. And what this does is make a bow that sits nice and square. And so this is what you would use if you wanted to finish off the sash on the back of a dress. I find myself using the water knot whenever my children are making bracelets or necklaces. Now you only want to use this with cordage that will break when it gets caught onto something. But you start off with an overhand knot on one side and then the other side you just simply trace it, poke it through, run it around, and we're just tracing the other knot itself. And we just pull everything tight. And again this works great when you're doing those beading projects. The bell ringer is not what we're going to use to keep the cord out of the way when you pull the blinds up. And so what we're going to do is just grab a section here and do an ignition twist. And then we're going to grab our cord that's hanging down, make a bite, and simply feed it up through that ignition twist that we made. And that way we're not worried about the kids getting uh, tangled up in it. 